Hello. Today's question is, in a class of 26 students, 11 have a brother and 5 have a sister. There are 12 students who do not have any siblings. What is the probability that a student who does not have a sister has a brother? Okay. Well, in order to carefully analyze these types of problems, a uh, Venn diagram is usually the most useful. Now, in the Venn diagram, if we were to consider the left circle, those who have a brother, and the right circle, those who have a sister, the middle, the overlap would be those who have a brother and a sister. That doesn't include the entire class. The entire class fits in this box, and the outsides of the circle, but in the box, would include those who don't have neither a brother nor a sister. So we have a total of 26 students. And we know 12 have no siblings. So 12 would be outside of the circles. Now, they say there are 11 ha that have a brother. So there are 11 that fit in this circle, while there are five that have a sister and fit in this circle. Now here's an important step. Once you fill in these, in order to find the overlap, we have to add them all up and count. So we got 12 plus 11, 23 plus 5, 28. So we have a count of 28, but we're really only allowed 26. That means two students were counted twice, in order to count twice, that means they had to have had a brother and a sister. So we could erase the 11 and 5, and we know now there are only two that have both a brother and a sister in the class. And if 11 have a brother, but two of them also have a sister, only 9 have just a brother without a sister. And if there's 5 that have a sister... The two of those have brothers. There's only three that have just a sister. And now if we were to go back and add 12 plus 9, 21 plus 2, 23 plus 3, 26. So we perfectly filled out our Venn diagram and we have the right amount of students. Now let's go back to the question. What is the probability that a student who does not have a sister has a brother? So a student who does not have a sister has a brother. In order to solve this one, we have to find out how many students total do not have a sister. Well, if five have a sister, that means there are 21 total students without a sister. So 21 would be the denominator. And how many of those 21 has a brother? So the 21 in question is this nine plus that 12. Everyone else has a sister. So of those who do not have a sister, out of the 21, 9 has a brother. And if we were to simplify that, the fraction boils down to 3 over 7. Therefore, the probability that a student who does not have a sister has a brother is 3 sevenths. Hope that helped.